This episode is brought to you by Adorama. If you're looking for photography, video, imaging, or tech needs, be sure to check out Adorama.com. Hi, my name is Rich Harrington for Adorama TV, and we're continuing our look at tripods and monopods, and this is something you're gonna wanna add to your kit. Now, I know a lot of folks think, well, it's just a tripod, maybe I'll use one, I don't like carrying it. The thing is, is you need to find a tripod that's the right fit for you, a good combination of weight and performance. Today, we're taking a look at a reasonably priced one that you could add to your kit. It's from Manfrotto, and it's the 294 Carbon Tripod. It's one of their latest additions. Now, what's nice about this particular one is it's designed to hold a decent load of about 11 pounds. This has got enough weight to it that it can switch between being a video tripod or a tripod for shooting on a DSLR, stills or video. This is extremely transportable. What I like here is you see it's not too big. I actually was able to fit this in a standard checked suitcase so it was easy to take it on a recent trip. Now, this particular one is carbon fiber and it's using the next generation of carbon fiber. What you're gonna find is that it's actually a little bit larger in diameter, which gives you greater stability. Now, this particular one has three sections. You see here, easy to use locks. I just pop that up and I could go ahead and pull that out. Nice, sturdy, easy to flip levers. We'll just go ahead and do the same here on the other side. Very easy legs to telescope, just lock them into place. And that's really solid here with that flip lock. You're not gonna have the tripod drifting like you might do with some of the twist systems. Now, I do have some tripods that twist as well. I like those, but a flip of a switch here makes it really easy to go ahead and lock that into place. And you see as we push, it's not moving. If I need additional height, I can always, at the center column, we just turn that knob there and this will lift up. Now going this high here, I am six foot four. This is practically to the top of my head. This extra lift here is not gonna be as stable as you might like. You can go ahead and push that rubber column down. It's not bad, but for the most part, I would leave this drop down. You're gonna to wanna to get the extra stability from the bottom of the legs, not from the center column. But if you need to stabilize that out, that's fine. You can go ahead and lift that. You still have a good platform for shooting. Now, this particular one, really designed to be rigid, so you're not gonna see a lot of the vibrations, and that's gonna really help cut down on camera shake. Or if you're shooting with a longer zoom lens, it's gonna give you a more stable platform. Now, this particular one, very adjustable with those leg locks. What I like here, though, is an additional feature. You see this little lever here. Now, when the tripod is opened up, it doesn't move. But these levers are gonna essentially give you two positions. I go ahead and flip those levers, and what that's gonna do is allow the legs to open up that much wider. Now, you wouldn't go this wide if you had the tripod legs all the way extended. You would go this wide because you wanted to get really low to the ground. So let's just go ahead and collapse those legs in. Easy locks there, that's great and notice how low I can get to the ground. So essentially, when we're down in this position, we've switched the legs from a 23 degree angle to a 51 degree angle. And we've gone from that max height of about 72 inches down to about 20 inches, which really gets you low to the ground. Now, this is quite nice. All right, a particular type of head on this tripod is a ball head. Got the ability to adjust, panning, tilting. I wouldn't use this as an animated pan and tilt like for a video head, but this makes it really easy to get the composition that you want. With the standard Manfrotto plate, very easy to attach here. Don't even need any tools, just a simple thumb screw here that you could turn. Get that plate where you need to. Make sure you follow where it says lens forward. But what I like here is with that ring, you can also attach things like a camera strap to have that camera over your shoulder. And then when you're ready to go back to the tripod, push that down, put it on the plate, and just push, and it really quickly locks into place. Speaking of locking into place, you actually have a pin here that you could turn. Now, when that is locked, it's not gonna accidentally open and have the camera fall off. When you're ready to take the camera off, you actually have to pull that pin down and then turn the lever. So it's a nice two-stage release. Otherwise, very firm attachment, and that's nice. I can go ahead and compose the shot, quick thumb screws, twist that, get the composition I need, lock it off, and get the shot I need. Plus, if you want to switch here, you can remove the head. What I like with the Manfrotto system is that this is interchangeable. So I'll just tighten that down temporarily and spin. There we go, comes right off. And I could use one of their video style heads, like the 561. Just line that up and give it a quick twirl. Again, no tools needed. 
and I've converted this into a video style tripod. And I've actually used this to shoot video and was very happy with it as a lightweight addition to my kit. I've now added a fluid head here and that's going to give me some of the flexibility I want to do smooth pans and tilts. So a versatile tripod system. It's got the ability to hold up to about 11 pounds. When you close it up, it's only 28 inches tall. So this is a very small, very compact, yet still a full-size tripod. Going to give you that flexibility with the legs that go from 23 degrees for the standard opening out to 51, and the ability to really change the height, going all the way up to about 71 inches down to 20 inches. So if you are looking for a tripod that's not heavy, four and a half pounds for all this flexibility, highly recommend you check out this one from Manfrotto. Now, head on over to Adorama.com if you want to learn more about your gear. Tons of gear for sale, great deals to be had, and if you check out the Adorama Learning Center, there's a ton of articles that you could check out to learn how to get more from your cameras and gear. Want to get the most out of your Adorama photography equipment? Visit our Learning Center where you can read popular articles, how-to tips, buying guides, and product reviews.